and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss that how we can find out the variable whose or function whose gradient is given to you. So let's begin with an example. Gradient is given to you which is 2r is to the power 4r and you know very well from the previous videos that your radius, the equation of sphere is this and your r vector is x i y j and z k right you need to find out exactly that function whose gradient is given to you so you know if you put all these values r raised to power 4 that means squaring both sides you will get r raised to power 4 so x square plus y square plus z square is to power 2 and r is x i plus y j plus z k right thereafter you can see this is your gradient of u, but this is according to what is given to us. But actually gradient we know, the formula for gradient is partial differentiation with respect to x, partial differentiation with respect to y, and partial differentiation with respect to k, isn't it? So, if you see this is your um, function. If you compare, if you compare what you will get, let me solve this thing here. You can see that 2 into this multiply x. square plus y square plus z square is your k j and 2 into z whole square is your k right so if you equate here your i part i part is what differentiation of x correct so your differentiation of u with respect to x will be your x part 2x, so I am writing it down here, right, correct, because I, I and I cancelled and coefficients will be equal, correct, so I just equate first and second, comparing first and second, left side is equal, right side will be equal, so right side I here. Now, you can see, you need to find out the full function and you know by total differentiation, du will be partial differentiation with respect to x, partial differentiation with respect to y and partial differentiation with respect to z. Correct? So, this is your partial differentiation with respect to x. So, you need to multiply it with dx this with dy and this with dz and if you add these three you will get du correct so if you add these three this plus this plus this this is your du right i have shortage of speed that's why i'm just doing it all together now what you can do if you see what you can take as common two x square plus y square plus z square raised to power 2. What is left? x dx, y dy and z dz. Right? This is your du. Now you know that from du you want variable. What you can do? Integrate. Right? But for integration, before applying integration, make it uniform. Means if you want to change it thoroughly, this is dx, right? Thoroughly, completely change it into dx or dy or dz in one variable. So what I'm doing, if you see, if I let x square plus y square plus z square as t and differentiate it 2x dx, 2y dy and 2z dz will be dt. Correct? So that means you can take two common. Take 
two common. So two x dx y dy z dz is your dt, and this x square plus y square plus z square is your t. So t square. This is your du. Now you can integrate it. That means if you integrate both sides, u will be t cube by three plus c. Correct. Adding one power and divided with c. What is t here? X square plus y square plus z square. This is your t raised to power three by three. This is your answer. Or else, what you can do? You can convert it in the original form, like in the form of r. So you know your x square plus y square plus z square is r square. So what you can write it as r square raised to power three by three. Right? So r raised to power six by three plus c. This is your function. I hope you understand this video, and if so, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye bye.